Hi, my name is Kasten. I'm an aviation student at the uh, Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. I picked this major because um, I wanted something that was going to constantly challenge myself and also be rewarding at the same time. Um, my career aspirations are to be an airline pilot, preferably in the airline cargo world. So within aviation flight, you're going to have all sorts of learning experiences. You're going to have personal, you're going to have professional, you're going to have experience, experiential type of learning experience. Um, in the flight major itself, we're going to start you from zero flight time or a private pilot, and we're going to teach you all the way up to multi-engine. Um, or you can go through your CFI or both, um, which CFI is going to be a certified flight instructor. Um, some other experiences is, is sort of... Sort of a personal um, experiences that you get is to kind of show yourself what you can do and what the the capability that you have that sometimes was not ever really noticeable before and when I say professional one of the personal experiences that I've had was an internship um, that I went down for with FedEx for one year and I was able to grow myself professionally and build a great network of other pilots in my in my uh, personal library I guess So my favorite part of studying in the aviation flight major is that it's all hands-on. And my, my, me, myself, am a very kinesthetic learner. So studying for me is very easy because it comes down to going out to the airplane and it's a matter of practice. Um, while it kind of also orients to everybody's style of learning or, or how they study. So you can study in a book, you can study however you want, but there's always that skill-based kinesthetic practice that you can do to get better. That's my favorite part of studying. So the hardest part of pursuing this major is you have to, it forces you to discipline yourself. You have to have the commitment, you have to have the willpower, you have to have all of it to make it through. Um, and it's, it's truly um, beneficial to you to have that discipline when it comes down to the end of everything. You're, you're out in the real world, you're ready to go. Um, you're on time, you have to make a hard choice between whether you're going to go have some fun or you're going to better yourself, you know, in your, in your career, your experiences, and, and usually it'll kind of help your mind train over to become more thinking on the side of let's go better myself instead of let's go, you know, have a fun time. So what I wished I had heard before I came in here is um, somebody to tell me how dynamic and close-knit that the aviation community really is. Um, and one of the things that I wish you know someone else would have told me as well is to get involved within the within the actual majors, you know, student groups, organizations in the aviation community. Anything that gets you involved will get you those connections and get you those. Um, you know, professional and personal experiences that I was talking about. Um, it'll it'll kind of help bring all those together and group them into a big meaningful whole in the end. So my first bit of advice for anybody in this major or getting into it is start actively looking or find a mentor. A mentor in aviation is something that is a necessity. Um, somebody you can go to with questions, somebody you can go to with personal issues, anything. A uh, mentor is huge. Uh, my second piece of advice is that, you know, this is a training environment. So there are going to be times like, just like riding a bike, you're going to fall off a few times, and it depends on how you take that negative experience and deal with it. So you can either learn from it, or you can be negative about it and not learn from it. So my biggest bit of advice is when you see those mistakes, to learn from them and move forward with them. Um, for anybody who's aspiring to come in, the best way you can prepare yourself is to try to get um, a good idea of this whole aviation industry as a whole, regardless if you want to be a pilot, if you want to be an air traffic controller, it doesn't matter. Try to look at the whole industry because we all play a big part in one big circle that everybody benefits from. So um, that would be my, my advice for someone coming in.